Hey guys, it's Papa Steve on the move. Welcome back. Hey, if you're new to the channel, I backpack, I hike, and I travel. I review gear that I use, and I review sites and places I visit. If you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and hit that bell down below and subscribe to the channel. Now I've been backpacking for years, and one thing I get asked a lot is how I carry this 40 pound bag around the woods all day. Now in this video, we'll review how to load your pack for a multi-day excursion. We'll talk about what I use, how I pack it, and if you stick around to the end, I'll give two methods on how you can lighten up that multi-day load. With a little know-how, you can make your pack feel a lot lighter and more comfortable. So when I first started backpacking, I made plenty of mistakes. Probably the biggest one was I would just grab my pack and I'd throw all my gear in it and I'd head out into the woods. Uh, that wasn't really a problem while I was young and just going out for the day. But once I started doing multi-day excursions, uh, I got a little older, a little more sensitive to the weight. A uh, little more income for some lighter gear helped too. But uh, really I found out right away that my back was sore at the end of the weekend. and. I really felt terrible about carrying that bag around. So I started to look at what I was doing wrong. Um, I recommend for a multi-day trip, you're gonna need at least a 50 liter backpack. I'm using the Gregory Bell Toro 65 liter. The pack itself is about five pounds. So it's, uh, it's, gonna, it's gonna be some weight all on its own and the more things you have in your pack the more zippers the more tie downs the more luxury things you have the heavier that pack's going to be now when you're packing it's going to be critical uh, to consider what's going in the pack before you start so what i think i like to do is lay out all my gear in front of me um, i use a checklist i make sure i've got all my gear i lay it out in front of me and i consider what's got to go inside that backpack the first thing you do is load the bottom now the bottom's pretty critical because you don't want to put a lot of weight in the bottom because it'll hurt your lower back so that's, that's where you put your sleep system, your sleeping bag, your, your mat, your pad, or your, uh, your pillow if you're bringing one. Now I should make a note that if you're using a water bladder for your water, a uh, water bladder is something that kind of fits it. You fill it up with water, you put it inside the pack, and you run the hose from the bladder to, the, to your mouth through the pack. It's pretty handy. It's great because you don't need to mess around with water bottles. But um, if, you're, if you are using a water bladder, that's got to be the first thing you, you put in. So fill it up with water, put it in the bag. You don't want to be trying to mess with this once your bag's full. The bag liner is something you can put into the bottom of the bag, and it's waterproof. So this bag liner goes right in the bag ahead of time. And you can seal it up, and it keeps all your stuff dry. I've got a bigger one, uh, this is a smaller one, but uh, they make them in different sizes depending on your pack. Now, I always bring this with me. This is a great piece of gear, but I don't use it as a bag liner. I just bring it as a waterproof bag. Um, I can put my gear in it and leave it outside while I'm unpacking my bag. It's a nice to have, but I don't use it in the bag because lots of these bags now have access panels on the side. Like this one, I can open it right up and see what's inside. If you're using a bag liner, you're stuck. You're, you're only got one opening and it's at the top. We're going to put the sleeping bag in first. Now I'm using a three season bag, it's down. It's very compressible. Um, you're gonna want probably a down bag. It's, it's lighter and it's smaller. Um, and it needs to fit in your bag. You don't wanna get this wet. <laughs> That's a no-no. So, the sleeping bag goes right in the bottom. I usually turn it horizontal and then I take my sleeping pad and I put that in right beside it. I just kind of squeeze that right beside the bag, leave that right against my back. Those are both pretty light and they're pretty soft. I bring a sleeping bag liner, um, not for warmth, but for cleanliness. This is easily washed. Uh, I don't get my bag dirty. It gets oils from your body, uh, dirt from your clothes. I like to bring a sleeping bag liner. 
throw that in there. I like to be comfortable, so I do bring a blow-up pillow. It's pretty light, and uh, it's small, and it fits right inside. Now, next you pack the middle. Now, the middle is where you want to put your heaviest stuff. And your heaviest stuff, that's because on the middle of your back, you're not pulling too hard on your shoulders like you are on the top, and you're not putting weight on your lower back like you are at the bottom. So your heaviest stuff should sit in the middle of your back. And that's generally your shelter and your cook kit. Now I switched shelters this year. I've just picked up the Nemo two-person ultralight Hornet. It's a lot smaller. It is a two-person tent, but I wouldn't recommend it for two. Uh, when you're buying a tent, always think plus one. If you're two people, buy a three-person. If you're one, buy a two. Um, I've always been the type to separate my poles in my tent. So if I've got someone with me, I bring my three-person Mother Hubba. Uh, I've done a separate gear, uh, review for that. I'll leave that here for you guys to access. But um, the Nemo, I keep the poles on the outside. We'll get to that. Tent goes in the middle, right against your back. Again, I like to keep everything horizontal so it stacks nicely in the backpack. Uh, I've reviewed my cook kit plenty of times. I can leave that link here for you as well. Um, this is my one person kit. It's a pot. Uh, inside there's a titanium mug and a tank and a small stove. Uh, there's even a cup and a dishcloth in here and that all fits very nicely into this one little kit. That goes in beside the tent. Uh, those should go right against your back. Now there's some space still in the middle to put some other stuff and that's usually where I'll put my clothes. Now I always bring a puffer jacket. It does get cold at night. And the great thing about the jacket, I just put it in loose and I kind of stuff the holes with it. But just kind of get stuffed down, even if there's a gap around your sleeping bag, you can stuff that right in there and it keeps the pack really stuffed nicely. Uh, I bring a bag for the clothes. I like to bring bags. I'm, I'm a packet guy. I like to pack all these, uh, all my gear in little bags and I even color code them so I know which one's which from, uh, from afar. Um, you don't need the bags. You can just stuff your clothes in. You can, you can put all the items in the pockets, but I just find it's easier to find and the extra weight of the bags is, is negligible. So my clothes go in next. And that's kind of the middle. Then you want to pack the top. Now the top obviously is where we want to keep all the gear that you need to get after. Um, this is all stuff that I won't need until I get into camp and start to make camp. So I take the other things out. If it's raining, I'll use that liner, put everything in there so it doesn't get wet while I set up the tent. And um, that's the gear I put on the top. So I keep a hygiene kit, my little blue bag. Uh, it's got like deodorant, uh, dish soap, um, biodegradable stuff, toothpaste, toothbrush. I keep it all in a little kit by itself because uh, it has to go into the bear bag or the bear locker at night. Uh, keep the scents out of your uh, tent. So I keep a hygiene bag. I keep a repair kit. Uh, this is all the um, pieces. I've got a compass in there. I've got some clips. I've got uh, duct tape, um, all the sewing kit, all the little things that I hope I never need. And uh, other than fishing a rope out here once in a while for a, a clothesline, I, I really don't use this, but I always bring it and I hope I never need it. Then on top, I put my food. My food bag goes in on top. And if I've got a bear, uh, bear container, that'll go in on top as well. And I'll usually have the stuff, the food right inside that. I've also got my uh, seat cushion. Sometimes I bring a Helinox One chair and I'll strap that to the bottom of my pack. But most of the time I'm going ultra light, I just bring a cushion to sit on. Um, sit on a rock or a log or whatever and I put this right against my back again horizontal so it's just it Keeps the shape of the bag really nice Now as you can see I've got lots of bag left here So I could still put a lot of gear in this bag. So this bag may be a little too big but um, I'm gonna close it up 
tie it off. And that's kind of it. That's the bag. Now, most bags have what I call a brain. It's this little hood on the top. It's usually got a couple of zippers and pockets in it. Some are removable. Um, usually if your bag comes with a rain cover, uh, you'll see this is where they'll, you'll find it in this pocket. Uh, there's even a clip there for your keys. Um, you can put your belongings, your personal stuff in there. And usually I will clip my keys on that hook and I'll throw my wallet in there and a few other things that I just want to keep safe that I, uh, that I don't need for the trip. So, in this pocket, I usually keep my trail map, my titanium spoon and a lighter. Uh, I bring a deck of cards. Um, I do bring this bag. And I bring a mosquito net for my head. It's, uh, it's not attractive, but when the bugs are swarming around you and you've got to work and you can't swat at them, a uh, little mosquito head net is a valuable thing. Again, one of those things, I hope I never need it. Zip those up and I seal up the bag. This is at the point where you kind of want to put all your clips together and clip the bag. Make sure everything's uh, settled in there the way you want it. But I'm not done. As you can see, there's still a lot of gear here. So there's a stretch pocket on the front. I've seen people put uh, an extra pair of sandals or something in there for river crossings. I keep my rain gear there. So I put in my raincoat. I bring rain pants. They're about the only pair of spare pants that I like to bring. Again, hope I never need this stuff. And of course, my, uh, my pack cover. Now the pack cover, uh, again, some people keep it inside. I like to keep it with my rain gear. If it starts raining, um, I cover myself and I cover my pack. Keep in mind that the stuff inside, you don't want it to get wet. I throw all that gear in there and that's nice and handy. If it starts to rain, it's really easy to get at right in that cover. Now I've even got a couple pockets here on the top of the brain and I use those from time to time. Again, for stuff that I want to pack away. So the things I've got here is my fanny pack. Hey, usually you'll see me wearing this on the trail, but uh, when I'm not and I'm just kind of packing to get into the car or whatever, it's easily tucked into the top here. And zipped up as well as uh, you know a bladder if I'm not using that, but I want to bring it just in case. It'll go up top. And I've still got a few items left. Now these are items that I like to get at when I'm on the trail. And I do have two side pockets here. This pack's very convenient, has lots of zippers, lots of pockets, makes it a little heavier, but I, li I like it, it works for me. Get one that works for you. If not, load this stuff definitely in the top of your bag so it's still easy to get at. Number one, my water filter. Uh, this one's a pretty big one. It's a uh, platypus four liter gravity feed filter. Um, it's light, but it's a little bulky. But I like to have access to it when I need more water. It's right there. So if I come across a nice uh, stream or something where uh, the water looks nice and clean, and I want to fill that bag, it's handy. And there's even been a few trips where I've, uh, my water bottle's gone empty and I've had to stop along the way and just filter some more water. Now the other two items I've got, first aid. Again, hope you never need it. Uh, I keep some pills, some bandages, uh, some gloves, a uh, few minor things, uh, all in this little red bag. Um, again, color-coded, easy to find my stuff. And I keep the first aid in the other side pocket, real easy to get at. Now, you might wonder, what's in the orange bag? This is my latrine bag. It's got uh, some plastic bags, a trowel, a uh, little shovel. Um, it's got some hand sanitizer and, of course, uh, some paper products. Um, I call it the latrine bag and uh, you know when you're heading out to the pit toilet or out into the bush to do your thing I just grab my little orange bag and away I go. 
So I keep that handy. When I need it, it's right there. Now, most packs again, um, when you're pretty much packed up uh, you has got a few lash points around the side and I do lash things to the side some people like to keep everything in the bag and that's cool I, I, I like to you make use of their lash poles and that's where I put my tent poles I lash them right out here on the side I keep the stakes in with the poles and I just pop them in there and I use one of these uh, lash straps just around the top of the poles and uh, put that around and through it's got a little clip and that's where I carry the poles. They're on the outside. It doesn't matter if they get wet and they don't, they don't get, they don't rip my gear or anything that I've got inside and they're, they're just out of my way. Uh, the other thing is uh, water, water bottle. Most places got a little pocket right on the outside. This is great pack. It actually uh, stashes the, uh, the water bottle pocket right away if you're not using it. So if I've got my bladder out, I can just tuck that pocket right away and it's out of my way. And when I want it, I just pull on the tab and there's the pocket. Water bottle goes inside. Uh, I'll usually lash another um, truck pole. I bring two truck poles and I use one most of the time and the other one's usually strapped to the outside here with the other lash points. And at this point, you wanna tighten up all of your straps Make sure your, uh, your pack's good and tight and everything's kind of tied together that needs to be. You can uh, fasten the clips at the bottom if you've got nothing to lash there. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's a couple uh, pockets in the front and I do use those. I keep a compass and a pocket knife in the one. Helpful when you need them. Very handy right in front on the belt. And then the other one, I keep a snack, whatever I'm munching on, so I don't have to get my food bag out. So, you know, a couple bars or some nuts or whatever you want. That leaves one thing, bear spray. I don't go in the woods without it. Um, there's always bears everywhere you go. Even when there's not bears, there's still a chance of bears. <laughs> so I always bring a bear spray, make sure it's not expired. Um, I use a holster, but I don't like to keep it on my belt because it gets in my way when I'm walking. So I actually lash it right to the strap. I use a, a clip. I've got a couple extra clips here. I don't always use, use this many, but I clip it right to the, uh, the sunglass strap. And then I use this, uh, this little strap that I leave with the, uh, the holster and I just lash that right around the strap on the backpack. And that just kind of hangs out there. Really handy when I need it. Now, once you're to this step, it's very important to try on the pack. Put it on, see how it feels. That's the critical thing. Some people like to weigh it. Um, I kind of know what the weight is already. Sometimes I'll weigh it. I know if I'm bringing too much stuff. Now, once you put it on, kind of loosen, loosen your straps up. Get to everything that's comfortable. Put it on. Make sure it fits you properly. Now, I'll, make sure your, uh, your belt is tight and it's right on your hips. Because that, you don't even need these straps. You're going to carry the weight of that pack on your hips. The rest of the pack, it's going on your shoulders. Those straps got to feel good. Make sure you got a bag that's comfortable. There's always a sternum strap. Now this isn't uh, to hold any weight. This is really just to keep up. This thing shouldn't be tight. It should just be like hand loose. And all it does is it, it keeps your straps in the right place. So once you've got your backpack on, you want to make sure that it feels good. That weight shouldn't be uh, on your lower back and it shouldn't be up top. Your straps should be nice and flush all the way along the back. And there are a couple little uh, straps here which can pull the, uh, the load tighter to your neck or away from your neck, depending on how high it is. Now you, you'll want to adjust those to get just the right fit. And if it doesn't feel right, take it off and start over. Unpack, 
move something, take something out, move it to a different pocket, get to, get to where you're comfortable, wear it around a little bit, and you're good. Make sure you, you know, get at all your stuff and you're happy with it. And, and that's really the most important thing. Be comfortable because uh, you're gonna be carrying this stuff around with you. So that's kind of it. Now, if you stuck around, I did mention there would be two tips. Now, the first tip is water. Water weighs a lot of, water weighs one kilogram per liter. That's 2.2 pounds for about a quarter gallon. That's a lot, that's a lot of weight. So I, I just bring my liter water bottle just one plastic bottle and I filter the rest out there. Do your research. Check check before you go. Know the area you're going into. Know where the fresh water is and be prepared to filter and treat your water. Bring tablets or something to uh, to filter and uh, and bring a filter to uh, get, get at your water. And there's lots of water in North America and most of it's clean so you guys will be happy. Tip number two, clothing. Don't bring extra clothing. Be prepared to uh, get dirty. It's a dirty business, hiking and camping. Uh, be prepared to get dirty and um, live with that. Your buddy's gonna be smelly, you're gonna be smelly. I bring, uh, for a weekend trip, I'll bring an extra pair of socks, extra pair of underwear, and that's about it. Um, for a multi-day trip, you can add a shirt and uh, another pair of socks, another underwear, but uh, stay light. You don't wanna bring clothes that you don't wear. Make sure you got layers. But um, don't bring a lot of extra clothes. That's extra weight and you may or may not use it. So just uh, em embrace the smell and have a great time. So that's it for this week. Hope you guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, learned something. And um, as usual, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below or reach out on social media. I'll leave a couple links down in the comments area. Till then, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.